What's up, dudes? It's Wilson. I'm doing an oil change on my truck right now. I've got a Ford Ranger 2008 with the 4 liter V6 single overhead can. Now, some things I'll need for this oil change. I've got a drain pan to catch the, the waste oil. Have some wrenches, a 13 millimeter wrench for the oil pan and an 8 millimeter wrench for the battery terminals, which I'll be cleaning with this. I bought two new wiper blades. 18 inches. I also have already pre-mixed a 50-50 combination of water and coolant that I'll be adding. I have five quarts of conventional 5W30 oil, a S2 oil filter from STP, and also yesterday's newspaper just for any oil drip that we might be facing. This should be all we need. Also, safety goggles. Very important. This should be all we need to get this done. So let's get it up with. As you might be able to tell, I've got my truck lifted up on these rhino ramps here. Now these add about an initial six or seven inches of clearance, which definitely helps when you're laying on your back under the vehicle doing the oil. Along with the front wheels lifted, I have the back wheels chocked here to prevent rolling. I also have the vehicle in park and the parking brake set. Right now we are looking at the instrument cluster on the vehicle. I'm going to turn on the truck very briefly to only minorly let the oil become less viscous. Just about 10 to 30 seconds should be fine. I'm also going to check the mileage at this time just to record it so I've got that information to know when the change was done. Let's start it up. Just give it about 10 more seconds, 10, nine, 1, and let's turn it back off. We got our mileage of 75,864 miles. Now we can begin the change. Right now we're looking at the top of the engine. We can see here we have the 4 liter single overhead cam. That's the V6 motor that we are using. Uh, right now I'm going to remove the top of the oil cap, the oil fill. I will set that down. Also, I'm going to take the dipstick out and see what the oil looks like currently. This is with the old oil before I do the swap. Pull out the dipstick. That oil is looking pretty brown, but it was at a good level, but still darker consistency. So it looks like it's ready to be changed. Slide the dipstick back in. Right. Now let's go to the bottom. We're just about to begin draining the old oil. Putting on some gloves that are smart to be using if you're using different chemicals that you don't want on your hands. Oil drain valve is right here on the vehicle. So you want that, it'll come out in a stream land right there. I've also already taken the time to put down yesterday's newspaper so if there is any type of accident it can be caught here rather than the floor of the garage. All right, I've got my 13 millimeter wrench for the oil cap here. We've already removed the cap from the top of the engine to help drain the oil. Now, when we remove this bottom cap, it'll all start chugging out. And that's positioned properly. All right, then let us begin removing the cap. I've seen some things that recommend using the ringed part of your wrench rather than the open end. 
because this will hold onto the bolt better and keep it from stripping. Just a small recommendation. This nut is often a difficult part. Let's try. I'm just trying to find a good angle. I would say if anything it's much easier with this additional height. When you're on your back and it's right there, much more difficult. Oop. Those nudges gave it some gave it some give. Okay. And right before the oil releases, we want to make sure we grab the nut to avoid it dropping directly into the oil. I can keep it slightly cleaner. Oop. Seeing some oil start to appear and watch where that drips and it was right in the pan. Good. Whoop. Now it's going, now it's loose. Okay. Now the bolt is loose. It's only finger tight now. Here comes the oil. Go. Boom, and oil lands right in the pan. Just what we wanted. Now we sit and let that drain. For now though, we can let this oil drain. I'm gonna move the move the tub a bit so it falls in place you see this is actually following the stream from this is actually going backwards because the whole points down here at an angle but the oil is coming out back the other way but let's let this continue and move on to other projects we can do at the same time all right while that oil is still draining we can focus on other parts of the engine bay to look at right now let's first start with the battery terminals. We use this device here which has a little bit of a wire mesh inside. We use them to clean that. Also use an 8 millimeter wrench first. They only have to be slightly loosened to remove. But then remove also the felt guard. Take this and just simply give the terminals gentle spin. Now you can replace this ring and the battery terminal there and retighten. Now the positive terminal. Undo these clips. And up. Okay, we are now ready to replace the air filter for the vehicle. We removed the old one, and this one we are going to simply replace, put in the same slot. Now, let's reattach this air box portion. We attach the clamps. Okay, we are done with the top of the engine. Let's go back down to the bottom and reattach the plug because I think the oil has completed draining. We are back under the vehicle. Now, the oil is coming out at just a slow drip right now. So most of 
the oil has fallen into the pan already. Now we are taking the drain plug and I'm just wiping this off with a paper towel here to clean it up. All right, I'm back ready to replace the oil filter. I've got some gloves on and I've also brought the replacement oil filter that we will be using. It is the same as on there right now, just a basic STP S2 oil filter. Let's take the time now and remove the last one. All right, we've got some new gloves. Let's remove this oil filter. Ooh, that was a big movement. There we go, here we go. It's beginning to come. I'm going to move the pan again. I got it past the that weak part. Okay, another issue is oil often from this filler runs down this metal joint here on the frame. But we will clean that up at the end. Let's just first move the oil filter and avoid much. A little more, a little more. Oh, and a lot of oil in there. We got it all over my gloves, you see. Oh. Okay, so the removal is done now. But we definitely need new gloves. We need to clean up. That got messy. That filter had a lot of fuel in it, or oil. Let's oil down my arm a little bit. Clean that up. Also here on the frame more. Cleaning that off with just a paper towel. All right, we've removed the old fuel filter and drained all of the oil, excuse me, oil filter and drained all the oil. We got just a slow drip here, maybe once every three seconds. So I think we're ready to now install the new oil filter and refill the oil. So when you do the oil, a new oil filter, it's good to take just a little bead of oil and rub it along the rubber gasket on the inside of the filter at the top. This just helps create a better seal when it's in place. Okay, now that we've applied just a touch of oil, we're sticking it back up. Finger tight there is acceptable for the oil filter. Now another thing, we have the, the oil drain plug. This we've taken and wiped off with, let me get even another clean paper towel. Now we will clean around that plug and reinstall. Screwing it tight, tight, tight. This one should be tight, at wrench tight, not super tight. Okay. That's as far as my fingers will allow. So let's take the wrench and... Only a few more turns. One more. Snugged. Okay. Now, once again, we take that paper towel, clean up around here, and you see no new oil coming out. You're just wiping that off. Okay. So, now we have our oil filter. Okay, now we are back at the top of the engine. I have 
drained all of the oil, replaced the oil filter, and reattached the drain pan, the oil pan plug. So now we can add the oil, the new oil, 5W30, 5 quarts. We'll add that now to the engine. Adding fresh oil to the motor. This has a little spout here to help drain to avoid spilling anything incorrectly. Okay, while the last of that oil drains, that fresh oil, I'm going to just return under the vehicle to make sure that there's no leak. Now we are just about finished. Now we will take this funnel, remove it from this opening, and reattach the oil cap. windshield wiper blades should be replaced. As I live in Arizona, the sun tends to heat these up sometimes at a pretty quick rate. So even if you don't get much rain, the blade is still deteriorating in the heat of the sun. So they need to be replaced. Click, boom. So that's one blade. One old blade. and the other. There we are. So these have been removed. Now, let's attach our new blades. A lot of plastic dongles in here. Okay, and this plastic strip needs to be removed. So you have just the rubber on the wiper. Now, simple enough, just lock it in. Okay, and one for the other side. Whole, whole load of dongles. Done. Excellent. All right. And that should be the full replacement. I have replaced the oil, the oil filter, the air filter. I have cleaned the battery terminals and changed the wiper blades on the vehicle. This has been Ford Ranger single overhead cam, four liter oil change. Again, thank you guys for watching. It's been great.